Good afternoon from Okinawa, Japan, home of Oki Subis. Today, in this video, just a little tip for you guys who don't like noises. We got beside us a Bug Eye STI and a Type RA WRX, and they have two similar attributes when the door is open and the key is in. Check this out. Now at first it doesn't sound too crazy, right? But eventually it's gonna get overwhelming. This little chime is just to remind you that the key is in the ignition when the door is open. But maybe you are uh, you have a GC8, something like this, and that chime doesn't really bother you, but how about this? It sounds like someone just flatlined inside your car. And so maybe it's a hot day and you don't have AC on, you want to just have your windows down, but the window doesn't allow enough air in, so you want the door kicked open, but you have to deal with that the whole time too. Maybe you want to listen to the radio. Anyways, today I'm going to show you just real quick how to solve this issue. We're going to perform this little modification on the Bug Eye STI, but no worries. If you have a WRX or a GC8 or Forester or whatever, it's across the board the same setup. So, this is what's causing the noise, right? There's a little bell that's making the noise, but this is what's sending the signal to that bell to make a noise. And it's just a little switch that the board, door presses on when it's closed, and when it's not closed, it makes the chime. So, to fix this, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. There's a one screw that holds it in. Once you have the screw removed, the sensor reveals a connector. You just unplug it. You got peace and quiet. That's all you need. Peace and quiet. Install the sensor right back into the door to keep that factory look. So people are like, whoa, what did you do to get your bell to go off? Some type of crazy modification? No. No, you didn't. You save money and time by just removing that little connector. So I know this video didn't really show you how to make more horsepower with your Subaru, but it's uh, something that I thought of for you guys and girls who want to customize your car to make it exactly how you want it. Leave a message in the comments. Maybe uh, and ask a question, how could I get this to do this or this to be this way? Yeah, and we'll do some research and see if we can figure it out for you. We have a couple cars that we can experiment on, and so uh, it should be easy for us to make some of those, these types of videos. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.